One month after being shot multiple times near his home in New Haven, the mother of 14-year-old Tyreek Keyes is pleading for justice. News 8's Jackie Slater is live outside New Haven Police Headquarters at this hour with that story. Jackie? And I met with Tyreek Key's mother earlier this month, and I can tell you a few weeks later, the emotions seem even stronger. The tears falling a little bit harder. Now, so far, no arrests have been made in this case, and she reached out to us, hoping that by sharing a very personal photo, that somebody would be encouraged to come forward. This photo, taken on July 20th, just moments before 14-year-old Tyreek Keys died. I meant to go his dreams away, but no, his mind's. That's why I'm pleading to these mothers. The police, what a murderer, the police turn yourself in. It's like my heart is gone. His mother, Demetria, says Tyreek was shot two times in the stomach, just three blocks from their home in Newhallville. After several surgeries, his heart gave out. And I had to lay next to him on the bed, you know, on a thing. And watch my son. I watch him suffer. So I didn't want to see him suffer anymore. And I had to put the plug. Weeks later, no arrests have been made. Tonight, Demetria spoke exclusively with News 8, sharing the last picture of her son in hopes that someone comes forward with information that leads to an arrest. The people, wherever or all over, that seen what happened, that know what happens, to take a look at my son. And if it was theirs, they wouldn't want a piece of their heart going. New Haven police say they have interviewed more than 60 people and have some solid leads. Assistant Chief Archie Generoso saying, quote, we are taking this case very seriously. We are working on this investigation around the clock. This is a tragic situation. A 14-year-old was killed. But with each passing day, Demetria says her fight for justice is getting harder. You got to talk to my baby through his box. Then that's how I kiss him at night. Every morning I wake up and I guess I'm talk to him. The youngest of five children, Tyreek, would be starting high school next week. Instead of watching him head to class, Demetria is searching for his killer. I bought him a shirt. He got the backpack. And he got some pants. And we were supposed to go shopping on the 26th before he starts school on the 28th. But no, he's not here to see or me. And police say, like Demetria, they believe somebody out there knows something, and they want to remind everyone that you can text, call in, or email an anonymous tip. And we have those numbers and those links on our website at WTNH.com. Reporting live in New Haven tonight, Jackie Slater, News 8.